this is my last. Times a charm, third times a charm. Three is a good number. Okay. How are you? I'm good. I'm doing okay. Yeah. Where are you in the world? Let me try. There you go. <laughs> what you ask me? Where are you in the world right now? <sighs> I'm on the East Coast. Trying to live my best life. Yeah. It's okay. Sorry, my husband's trying to get me to move on. It's okay. <laughs> what about you? Where are you? I'm in LA. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. How y'all holding up over there? Pretty good. Uh, pretty good, I guess. I mean, I can't speak for everyone. Uh, I went to a nice, peaceful protest the other day, waiting to see if there's going to be more this weekend than I can go to. Um, but people are very excited to hear you speak, to be on here with me. Yeah. So how are we doing this? What are we doing? I want you to talk about the Black Lives Matter movement in whatever way you can, how time has been for you, what's inspiring you right now, what what you think because this is just uh an audience of people who are willing to learn and i think that's that's why i'm doing these these lives so people can uh especially white people and people who are not black can can learn and take away from this um movement that's happening yeah you know what i teach so let me introduce myself i'm monique melton and I am a anti-racism educator. I specifically create classes, courses, learning experiences to support people in their journey of anti-racism, which is to identify and eliminate racism through systems, powers, beliefs, so that we can redistribute resources and um, repair harms that's been done and share power equitably. Mm -hmm. And so it is a process that is multifaceted. Um, I teach, a, I, I use a framework that I created to teach people how to approach the work from the inside out. And I also am a mother, I'm a wife. I have um, two beautiful black children. And I also am married to my high school sweetheart we met and weightlifting class. And so, you know, I've always been black. You know, my blackness is not news to me. It's not something that I'm just becoming aware of. And for my entire life, I've had to experience the numerous forms of oppression just because of the skin I'm in. Sure. And my family, my friends. And so, this, this season that we're in right now, this, this moment in time where there is this increased awareness and, and attention on issues and matters that are directly impacting, negatively impacting Black lives, I'm, I'm mixed with all sorts of emotions. Yeah. Because we've been saying this. This is not news to us. None of this is surprising to us. We don't want it. We want it to end, but we're not shocked yeah. by the injustices that we endure. And so to see that it has taken yet another and multiple black deaths, yeah. to, and it had to be on video, and it also had to be a black man to 
get people to to want to notice what we've been saying all along. You know, today is Breonna Taylor's birthday. And she is a black woman who was murdered by the police in her bed while she was at home in the comfort and should have been safety of her own home. She was murdered. And that murderer is still out 